The human form of mad cow disease has appeared in Europe, but not in the United States. If it does, it will most likely be spotted here first. The labs of the National Prion Disease Pathology Surveillance Center at the Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine. Pierre Luigi Gambetti, the center director, regularly sifts through brain tissue samples from victims of Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, a human disease similar to mad cow. Gambetti is sure the case lab is best prepared in the nation to catch an occurrence of mad cow that is ever transmitted to human in this country. We develop actually here uh, a, a technique or a way which we think is, uh, is novel to classify these diseases. So we think with knowing very well the uh, kind of usual uh, prion diseases, we, we should be in a, in, a, in, a, in a very good position to identify if there is a novel form an outlier, an atypical form, and uh, and promptly alert the 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 CDC and then the country. The human form of mad cow disease is known as variant Creutzfeldt Jakob disease or variant CJD. Humans can also develop other forms of CJD. Cattle are infected by tainted feed, but exactly what causes prion diseases in humans is unknown. When CJD strikes, it causes the brain to grow sponge-like, killing the victim. So far, there are no known cases of human mad cow in North America, but the discovery of infected cattle in Washington state has the nation on high alert. The Case Prion Center helped develop quick, reliable tests for cattle herds, and case researchers are now looking for ways to stop CJD in all of its forms. This is Dave Narosny reporting from Case Western Reserve University, Cleveland.